Folks, I'm going to um, run through that whole, the whole thing I've been doing for the last two weeks, and we're going to have a recorded version of it, okay? So what I'm talking about particularly is setting up the gallery and then using the first bit of coding you have, the first bit of coding you'll be doing to um, put captions in that gallery, okay? So I'm starting with a new web page here, very simple, straightforward. Um, the only thing in it right now is this gallery. Uh, I haven't even filled it yet. Uh, we'll go over here to images, and we have to drag and drop our images. Um, let's find those. Um, I know I have them uh, lying around here somewhere. Uh, I have them here somewhere or another. Ooh, man, that's a lot of weird names for things. This is what? Yes. As soon as this is done, I'm going to put it up on YouTube so you'll be able to get it. Okay. Uh, let me... Um, good. And actually, I have all my images here. Uh, these are all 1,024 by 768. If we drop them, they should all go in there. And right now, let's just do a preview of this. Uh, and all it should be is this. And if you scroll through it, you scroll through the images. Um, that's, that's fine. That's all it should be doing right now. Uh, good. Now, um, let's start doing um, the code thing. Um, I mean, you know what? We'll have it do... We'll have it do an animated come on just to say we did it. Um, so we'll pick uh, position. As a matter of fact, I'll probably pick rotation and position. Uh, and I'll start it. Let's see where we are here. Is here where we want to go? Yeah. I'll start it like that, and I'll start it off screen as well. Uh, like that. Uh, and let's keyframe it. Insert keyframe, and we'll say over four seconds, it's going to come to here, uh, and it's going to go back to um, zero, which, if we worked it right, should do this. Yeah, I don't like that it's missing half the image when it does that. Uh, I probably have to bring it forward on the Z, which means I'm going to go back to this keyframe, so I'm on it. Uh, and on my Z... Should be able to click on that and make it blow up. We'll go to there. Just actually see what happens. We have a line to container and fluid layout on. Um, and let me preview it. Yeah. And our preview's over here. Uh, we'll reload it. So just for the thrill of doing it, we're doing it. That's the only reason. Now, let's look for um, the thing with the code that we've been dealing with. Um, you know what? I might go back to here and reduce this back to zero, uh, which just lets it fall back into place. Um, I have to go to the um, Google Web Designer their page because even finding this is a little bit difficult so this is their default page and you've already downloaded it uh, we need to go to their help um, which I'm trying to remember where that is I think if I go here nope Arg. you know what I will start from here uh, user for help center Good. Welcome to the Google Web Design Help Center. Now, what we're looking for is adding an event, uh, creating a custom action as an event. And then under this page, creating custom action, uh, we should have an example uh, showing a caption for each frame in a swipeable gallery. 
that's the thing we're going to look at and we're going to do and uh, for most of you um, this will probably be the first code you've gotten into uh, and I should be clearer about that um, almost all these tools are about um, trying to avoid writing code and, and people do that because nobody wants to write code it's kind of difficult um, we have to learn a couple things about code uh, they're basic things. Um, they apply to other stuff. You know, I'm always talking about um, file paths, which is a big issue. Um, and like file paths, you have to be precise. Uh, meaning, if you have a file path wrong at all, everything goes wrong. Code is like that. In code, you cannot make a mistake with syntax. You cannot have a character in the wrong place. That's probably the thing people dislike most about code. With that said, you can cut and paste large amounts of code so you don't have to write most of it. Um, so if you know that and have a basic understanding of what we're doing here, you should be able to get through it. Um, let's use their example. Uh, showing a caption for each frame, which is what we want to do. Uh, create captions. Okay, this presumes that you've placed a swipeable gallery component with the ID GWD Swipe Gallery 1. Um, if I look down here, uh, this is GWD360 gallery. Now, that's okay because I know that. Um, I could change it if I wanted to here. Everything on the page has to have an ID, which is just a tag for, for um, other things to find it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that word instead um, in their example. Uh, let's go back there. over here ba, 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 ba. okay um, for the captions I'll also need to create a div element and give it the ID caption minus sign div um, I'm actually going to copy that because I'm going to put that in exactly as it's supposed to be uh, although I do not want the quotes uh, a div is a new element. Um, when we're going to put this text, we're going to put it in some new element. We have a thing to make them, which is here. It says element tool. If I click it, I should be able to put a new element up here. Okay, and now we have that div. There it is. And now we have to give it an ID over here. I'm going to right mouse. Uh, oh, I'm so used to that. I'm going to control V and paste in caption.div, which is what they wanted it called. Let me go back. Da, 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 da. Yep, they want it called caption.div. Good. Okay. Then we create an event. Um, let me close this up. Close that up and close that up. Close this up and open up events. And I believe it's here, uh, but let me double check that. Yeah. Uh, you also need to create a div, a div, then give it a create an event like this. The target, choose swipeable gallery, uh, event, okay. Let's go events here, hit the plus key, and let's see if it gives us, we don't want swipeable gallery, we want 360 degree gallery. Good. So we pick that. Uh, let me go back here. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Uh, uh, swipeable gallery um, event choose swipeable gallery frame shown so I want to choose this and let's click that back <laughs> uh, you know what I'm going to do I'm actually going to drag this over here so we can leave that up there uh, and hopefully that action is going to come over to me here um, action choose custom action add custom action custom add custom action and now this is going to ask me for code now this code is JavaScript JavaScript is the thing that loads in the beginning and this is the default code they're giving us we're gonna to to change a couple things in it but nothing too much so the first thing I want to do is I want to select all this code control C it and I'm gonna paste it over here control V good now I have to give this um, this command a name. Uh, they recommend using the name show caption, which is fine. 
Uh, so up here, I'm going to paste Control V, show caption. Um, you're starting to see something here. We're going to talk a little bit about code and then we're going to change the things we need to change and see if it all works. Um, beginning of all code declares stuff, declares what this is going to be, what that's going to be. So these var lines, var means variable. So the first thing that's happening in our code is we're making a variable called gallery and then we're using something called dot syntax. Um, dot syntax, you know I've said in the past you can't use spaces in web pages. Um, every element in a web page has to be referenceable without spaces. So they use something called dot syntax because everything is connected by these periods. So what that means is there's a big thing called document, which is the whole thing, and then there's a dot. And then inside document there's a command, get element by ID, and then within that, brackets, and then a couple of quotes, that's the name of the swipe gallery. Now, I didn't name this swipe gallery, it's GWD360 gallery, so this is what I have to change here. Uh, I have to make this exactly that. Uh, so, let's go in here. Um, and if I do this right, by the way, um, it will all light up the same way. I want to show you what I mean by that. Uh, 360 gallery. Okay. You'll notice that um, var, which is a command, is purple. Uh, the argument to the command, or in this case the variable's name is blue, and then this equals whatever this is is black, and then what's in the quotes is red. That means that everything's okay. It actually changes the colors of these things so we know they're right. If the colors aren't the same, there's probably something going on. Um, Lines of JavaScript by convention end with a semicolon. And they do that, again, because of the space thing. They don't want to use spaces. So every line of a piece of JavaScript you'll see will end with this semicolon. So this is one variable. This is another variable um, by ID, caption.div. And that's what I called it, caption.div. That's good. Um, this is a little bit unusual. Um, still variable. It's going to be called text uh, bracket. A bracket means there's going to be more stuff related to this in between. So I want to show you something. When I see a bracket here, I can put anything I want in the bracket, and at the end of it, I'm going to get that semicolon again. See that? That means all this is related. Now this deals with how many images I have. Um, I have 11 images, so I would want to put in more lines here uh, following the syntax of this. Um, which is to say, if I go here, and I'm going to control C that, and I'm going to control V it, and control V it, control V it, and control V it, and control V it. Control v it. Um, I have to change these numbers too, because the numbers are related to the images that will show up. So one, two, three, four, five, oh, six, seven, and we'll go to eight in this case. And the last one doesn't have a comma because that bracket comes at the end. And then uh, it says div text content. And so what that means is that's referring to the div, um, uh, which is the div we put in. I'm pretty sure. Yes. See that? Basically, right here where it says div. And look at that. Isn't that nice? It lights up. When I double click div, that lights up because it's telling me it's that variable. So the variable div is all of this text here, caption.div, and then it's going to put text content and dump in gallery the right stuff we have there. That, that's what should happen, okay? Now let's hit okay, and let's test it, because we have to test it to see what happens. Okay, now it already says the text for frame one, which is kind of nice. Okay, let's see. Up. Oh. Bup, 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 bup. Now it's three, two. Uh, ah, all of them are the same. That is part of our problem. Um, let me close it and let's hop back there. If I go here again, I should be able to double click it. The thing we wrote, we should be able to modify it. We should have these say different things. Uh, this should say. Um, Oh, that should say two, isn't that sad? That should say three, that should say four, that should say five, that should say six, that should say seven, and that should say eight. Uh, and I could keep going, nine, ten, so on and so forth. Let's hit OK again, 
Uh, we'll save just to be certain it gets it. And then we'll preview it one more time. So it comes up here, the text for frame one. Uh, uh, there we go, it's going backwards. You know what, I think it's starting on the wrong frame. Um, that is over here in properties. If I'm in my gallery, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, transitions, gallery, name, autoplay, wrap. Somewhere in here there's a way I can tell it what frame to start on. Um, must be here. Uh, let's not do wrap. Um, and we'll call this uh, Sof Gallery just to give it a name. Good, good. I could do borders and things, but I don't really need to. Uh, let me hit the preview again. I'll save again, too. Save. Preview. Okay, so this should come in. Should be the text for frame one. Oh, there we go. Now they're all lined up. See that? So that's all, that's working well. Um, let me, I'm going to stop recording.